This episode of Hack Tip is brought to you by GoToAssist. Welcome to Hack Tip, the show where we break down concepts, tools, and techniques for hackers, gurus, and IT ninjas. I'm Shannon Morris, and today I'm checking out Netcat. Now, last week we discussed installing Netcat and all the available ways you can do it on Windows and Linux. This week, we're actually going to go over the basics. Now, like every other security tool on the market, this one can be used for good or bad, and I like to focus on the good. Now, one good way to use it is as a really simple chat interface. You can use two instances of Netcat running on one computer with the operating system of your choice for this example. Now today, one Netcat instance will be a listener and the other one will be a client. I will be connecting over TCP port 31337. Now TCP stands for Transmission Control Protocol and this protocol will let us transmit a stream of data from one program all the way over to another. Now the port is kind of like your computer's address. At F Hack 5, for example, port 1 is Darren Kitchen at 5 Hack 5 Street, and port 2 would be Shannon Morse at 5 Hack 5 Street. Now that we know what chatting is in Netcat, let's go ahead and take a break, and we'll chat right after. Working in IT means constantly jumping from one problem to the next, and each issue needs to be solved fast and every minute counts. So don't waste your time juggling different tools and duplicating data entry. Use GoToAssist from Citrix, the leader in remote support. Now you'll have the tools you need integrated into one easy to use platform so you can work faster and more efficiently. So how does this thing work? GoToAssist includes three essential support tools that you can customize for your needs. GoToAssist Service Desk for example, allows you to log incidents and track the resolutions. GoToAssist Monitoring, one of my favorite parts, proactively identifies issues to fix before they become bigger problems. And then there's Remote Support, where you can provide live or unattended support to any PC, Mac, or mobile device from anywhere to resolve the issues quickly. Now, I personally love GoToAssist Monitoring. It's super great about being proactive and letting you know when your server needs a patch, so I don't have to actively keep an eye on my servers myself like 24 seven, because that's no fun. Now sign up for your special 30 day free trial today. Go over to gotoassist.com and click on the try it free button and use the promo code H-A-K. That's gotoassist.com, promo code HACK. We're back, so let's get to Netcat and chatting in Netcat. So first off, we're going to go ahead and start with our listener machine. Now for me, this is going to be my Linux box. So first thing you're going to type in is nc tech l tech p, and then your port, whichever that might be. Mine, for example, is 31337. So on my machine, and I have Netcat running already, I've already checked it with nc tech h, like we learned last week. I'm gonna type in nc tech l, TACP 31337. So what does this specifically mean? It basically means you open Netcat as a listener, that's TACL, on port TACP, and then the port number 31337. And of course the port number can be pretty much whatever you want it to be. Now TACL specifically means listen mode for inbound connects. You can also use TAC uppercase L to listen harder and re-listen on socket close. Now we need to find out what my internal IP address is by using ifconfig on Linux or ipconfig on Windows. So if we take a look at my Linux box, I've typed in ifconfig and I find my inter internal address is 10.73.31.145. Now if we take a look at my Windows box on the other side, I typed in ipconfig and I get 10.73.39.179 as my internal address. Now those are gonna be important in just a few moments. Now in another terminal window, and this can also be on your Linux machine, you're going to type in what your client wants to see. So for example, on my Linux machine, I'm going to type in into the second window, nc 10. 73.31.145, because that's the IP address of the listener. And then you're going to type in the port, which is 31337. Now this is going to activate the other end of the connection as the client. So the client is running Netcat, listener activated on host 10.73.31.145, and then it's followed by the port number. So of course you have to listen on the same port. It's completely unencrypted, but it does let you chat. So let's just use my Linux box to chat between the two terminals. 
Very simple. So we have this on the listener side, NC TAC LTAC P31337. And on the client side, we have NC, the internal IP and the port. Now, if I click enter on both and I'll type, hi, it will show up on the listener side. Now, alternatively, I can also do vice versa. So I can talk from the listener side over to the client side. For example, on the Linux box, I can say, sup, and it appears over on the client side. Now, obviously, it done correctly, it should be able to chat between the two windows, but of course, this isn't really necessary to chat on between two windows on one PC. So let's go ahead and use my Windows box for another example, which basically simulates what two employees, for example, could do on the same internal network. So my Linux box is still going to be the listener and my Windows box is now the client. So you could use the same commands as last time, but on two separate machines. So let's go ahead and try this on my Windows machine. So I'll close IP config. I don't need that anymore. And I'm gonna type in nc.10 dot 73.31.145, dot that's the listener, on port 31337. And on my Linux box, I'm gonna go ahead and close the second terminal that I had running and cancel out that chat session. So it's going to tell me that it's been canceled, connection reset by peer, and I'll go ahead and start a new connection for my Windows machine. So I press enter and I go over to my Windows box again and I press enter on this one. So now I'm gonna try chatting between these two. So I'll say test from Windows. And if you take a look at my Linux box, so as you can see on the Linux box, after I type that into my Windows machine, it appears over here, test from Windows. Now I can do the same thing from over here, test from Linux. And what should happen is as soon as I hit enter, it should appear on my Windows machine. And if we take a look at the Windows machine, there it is, test from Linux. Now you can send chats from listener to client and vice versa, no matter what computer you're on. Now, do you guys use Netcat and what is your favorite use for Netcat? Let me know in the comments below or you can email us tips at hack5.org and be sure to check out our sister show, Hack5, for more great stuff just like this. I'll be there reminding you to trust your technolust.